Hey everyone, this is Kirk here again at OptionAlpha.com where we show you how to make smarter trades. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how we organize and group our trades inside of the Activity and Positions tab with inside of the Thinkorswim platform. So again, we're just continuing to hopefully give you the most tools possible to accurately and easily, efficiently trade options. So inside of the actual Thinkorswim platform, when you <clears throat> log on the first time, obviously you have this activity and positions statement, which really kind of shows you all of the current trades that you have open and working, right? And it also shows you uh, basically all of the activity for today, whether you have working orders, um, or if you have uh, filled orders or canceled orders, rolling strategies, etc., you can see like we have a working order to close one of our positions. This is a GTC working order at our profit target. And so these orders will be working here all the time. You may have more than this or less. I just want to show you what one looked like, obviously. If you get filled orders, then those come in here, et cetera. Uh, canceled orders go here, et cetera, right? Now down below, this is where it starts to get really cool. We have our position statement down here. Now this is what actually shows all of the different positions that we have. Now what I have done, and this is the way that I set it up so you can do it a little bit different if you want to, is that I basically group my trades by strategy type. So I have created little groups here for different types of strategies. Now you can create groups for whatever you want. If you want to do the same ones that I did, you can do those. If you want to do bullish, bearish, neutral, I've seen a bunch of different things. But the reality is here is you can basically create any types of groups that you want. I just like to do it this way so I know generally, hey, how many calendars am I trading or how many butterflies am I trading, iron condors, etc. So I know kind of what the makeup is. The way that you go about doing this first, because everything is gonna go at first under this unallocated portion here. So when you first log in, you can see that everything is gonna be in this unallocated portion or group. This is like the default uh, setting inside of Thinkorswim. What you wanna do is do a couple things to kind of set up your trade tab to work as best as it possibly could, or at least as more organized as it possibly could. On the right hand side here, you'll see this little um, three menu thing. And I know it's a little bit cut off on the screen, but you should be able to see it. Uh, you definitely wanna go to a new layout and you wanna check the box that says show groups, okay? So if you uncheck that box, then it's not gonna do anything. It's gonna basically uh, not show any of the groups that you have and it'll you know keep everything unallocated. If you wanna add a group, you can simply do that here. So if you wanna go in and add a group and let's say we wanna call it new group, for video, whatever the case is, we can go ahead and say okay. And now you can see that new group is added in here. You can also delete a group very, very quickly. And that's fine, it won't delete any trades, it won't remove the trades, it'll just move them to unallocated. Okay, so I can quickly delete that group and boom, it's gone, it's out, right? Uh, one, another thing you wanna do is you wanna group positions by what's called none. So I know it doesn't show up on the screen here, uh, let me try to actually just like slide this over here just for a second so you guys can see this. Um, you wanna group positions by none. If you group it by type, it will automatically group positions by the type of trade. You don't wanna group it by capitalization or sector or anything like that. You wanna group positions by none. And that what that means is that you will determine where the trades go in their groups. You will be kind of like the, um, you know, the director of where trades go. The next thing you want to do though, and this one is important because it it puts trades together that are ordered or that are sent in in orders like spreads, iron condors, etc. And it manually groups them together by order type. So you want to not only group positions by none, but you want to arrange positions by order, not by trade or by instrument, by order. And so again, what this does is that when you actually see your trades, and so let me slide this back over here so you guys can see this. When you actually see your trades inside of the platform, it will actually show the trade as a strangle and it will show the two different contracts that made up that strangle entry that you had. Or if you had something like an iron condor, iron butterfly, again, it will show that it's an iron condor order and it will show the contracts that were kind of put together inside of that, that actual order. Now this is helpful because what you can do from here is you can rearrange the columns that are shown inside of the actual position statement. Now these are not the default columns that show up inside Thinkorswim. They do not show trade price. They don't show, I don't think, days. They don't show delta or some of these other things. It might be different depending on what version you have when you get started. But what I like to do is I like to have at least trade price 
days and mark in here. You don't have to have mark change. It's up to you if you want that in here. But what it does is this trade price shows you what you got into this overall iron condor for. And so this is why grouping by order type or arranging by order type is best because then it basically does the dirty math for you when and shows you, hey, you got into this iron condor for $225 and now it's worth $196. So that's why we're showing a profit of $58 on this trade, right? So it's a very easy way to visually see, hey, how much did I pay for this or how much did I get in credit and how much is it worth right now? Now again, these are not default columns. So what you have to do is you have to go over here to the right of each of the groups uh, and you have to click on this settings tab here. So the settings tab will bring up these different columns. And again, you can add all the different kinds of settings that you want, but there are ones in here for trade price, mark, mark change, delta. Those are usually the ones that we have in there as default. So quantity, days, trade price, mark, market change, and then delta. Again, you can set them up however you like, but this is the way that I do it. It's just a good visual tool for me to be able to see exactly what we got into or out of a trade on, okay? So same thing with strangle here. You can see, hey, instead of having to do the math quickly in my head, you know, adding up the credits, boom, I know I sold this strangle in USO for $65. Now it's worth $43. So that's why we're showing a $66 profit on this position. Now, once you have a trade that you get into and the trade gets filled, what you need to do is you can move that trade from wherever it is in the unallocated bucket to the actual group that you want to go into. So here's a trade that we got into yesterday. This is an EFA iron condor, basically an iron butterfly trade. We literally sold it for $126 yesterday. Again, it can show that trade price right in here. And so to move it from group to group, all you have to do is right click on the trade and then go down to move to group. And now you can either add a group. So if you're just starting out new, you can add one. Or like I said, you can move it to whatever predefined group that you have in here. So if you move it to Iron Condor, great. Now you can see that it's up here and it's actually showing in the Iron Condor group. So again, this is a good way just to organize kind of your trading uh, screen and your position statement. It's a really easy way to visually see just what types of strategies you have so you don't have to go back and remember what you have and what prices you got into. So really easy way to organize everything. So as always, hopefully you guys enjoy this. If you have any comments or feedback, I'd love to know. Ask them in the comment section right below. If you thought this video was helpful, please consider sharing it online. Help us spread the word about what we're trying to do here at Option Alpha. And until next time, happy trading.